It's another rainy day in June. I think it's been raining for about three days straight so far, but I don't know, I've lost count. As usual, I start the day off with a run. I'll probably run about 15 kilometers today, in the rain. Whilst running along the river, I soon encounter some grey lag geese. As it's June, some of them have goslings, so they can be quite aggressive. I have, however, found a trick, a cheat if you will. If I give them food, they'll let me pass them unnipped. So I've started carrying bird seed on me. I've known this lot since they were little and now they're quite big. Lockdown is starting to be eased in the UK, so there are more and more cars on the road. It's not too bad this morning though although I guess it's still only about 6.45am, there's plenty of time for traffic to accumulate. I'm approaching the York Minster now. I sometimes wonder how many people must have died building it, although it always looks so impressive. Constantine the Great stands exactly in the same pose he's always done, although now He's dripping with rainwater. I do hope he's not getting cold feet. I bid farewell to the minster as I move on on my running journey. Thankfully, the roads are still quite quiet, which means I can pass fellow commuters quite easily. I pass the boathouses now. It must feel quite surreal being a boathouse in the rain. <laughs> There really aren't many people around at all, which is nice. It gives me space to think. I've always thought there's something quite magical about the sound of silence as the wind patters on. I come back completely and utterly drenched in rainwater. I'm so ready for my shower. To my left, my cat watches me from a safe dry distance with an awfully smug look in his eye. There's nothing like hot porridge on a wet day. I don't think I need to bother watering my plants today somehow. To earn a bit of money, I teach Chinese children English online. Here I'm talking to Billy and Leo. After that, I have lunch. As I'm a small person, I have some banana and a meal supplement called Huel. It saves me quite a lot of time really. I just pop it in the blender and then I can consume it while I work. On rainy days, my cat also likes to watch the raindrops falling out of the window, as well as all the birds hopping around the garden. There are quite a lot of them. And then it's time to make a cup of tea and work on my portfolio. And then, although it's still quite bright outside, it's time to wind down for the night. I generally go to bed about 9pm, so it's still bright outside. But I wear a sleep mask. And that's it. Another typical, fairly boring day, but it just keeps on repeating itself. Thanks for watching.